So September is Bourbon Heritage Month, a chance to celebrate what's been called America's native spirit. Yeah, but you can do more than just drink it. We know that. Sam Carter is live at Watch Hill Proper this morning with more on how they're celebrating. Hey, Sam. Hey, guys. I'm learning a lot about Bourbon Heritage Month here, and one of the things I'm taking away is it's all about looking back, but at the same time, looking forward. And that is what we are going to do right now by making something old and, and great, new and great. And from Watch Hill Proper, I have one of their incredible mixologists. Is that what, is that what we're, we're, we're going by? I think that's one of the terms that's been floating around. That is awesome. Yeah, that's, yeah. Really, that's, a, that's an earned term, which, is, is, yeah, which is really awesome. Um, we are going to make your guys take, you have a weekly old fashioned that you guys make here. You have a regular one too, but take me through what we're going to do here and, and, and what's going on. So what we have here is we have built a uh, thyme old fashioned. So we have made our own Scarborough syrup using thyme, sage, and we also put a little bit of rosemary in there oh, for neat. some effervescence. Yes, yeah, so we have built two old fashions for uh, our new weekly feature this week and we've added some Angostura bitters, that scarrow barrel syrup, and then we are featuring our peerless distilling barrel pick uh, rye here. We've also done a bourbon with them. Uh, nice higher proof. Our house old fashion is our old granddad 100 proof bottled and bond. So this does bump up that proof a little bit for the feature. Um, so we're going to do a nice big cool. cube in these. All right. Now, now, now make one for you and I okay. want to make one. Now, just so I know, now for the for the novice at home, you guys do have a traditional old fashioned that we you do. guys do make and it, it, it sure it's very, very good. Um, if I'm making one at home, should I use a higher proof um, bourbon in that? Is that something that is done in an old fashioned or should I go lower proof? Um, if I'm making an old fashioned at home, I'm going to use close to a bonded proof, 100 proof. Um, if you go higher proof, I would recommend that you up your bitters a little bit, up your simple syrup or your sugar content a little cool. bit to balance out that high proof whiskey because it may not pull through if your spirits are a little higher proof. All right, let's get busy here. What are we doing? What do I What do I need to know? So we do have our garnishes here. We use a nice little clothespin Ooh. to attach it to the side. Um, I have already given one of our drinks a cube if you want to go ahead and ice yours down as well. Uh, Kentucky straight ice cubes there. We have them brought in every week. As you can see, it nearly <laughs> disappears in the glass. It does, it's neat. A it nice does. low dilution rate, so it's not gonna water your drink down super quickly, um, but just enough to keep it keep it lively as it gets to the bottom. So we're gonna we're gonna take two of these, right? Yeah, so we'll do uh, one for you, one for me. Cool. All right. And then we'll also do a sprig of this thyme oh. here. And while we're here and while we're doing this, um, I'll really nothing goes better with bourbon than food. And Correct. talk to me about what you guys are up to. So we are very blessed to have Chef Michael Crouch here as our executive chef. Uh, also Miss Robin Cahill is our um, executive Sue. Uh, they are preparing a Wednesday evening family style dinner. Oh cool. That is going to be um, rotating menu. Um, gonna be um, up to chef's discretion. We're gonna be doing some drink pairings, optional wine pairings with that. Um, it is very fun. It is very family style. So big potluck, kind of self-serve, pass the dishes around. Chef will come out and, you know, greet you all, see how everything is. You know, most of the people that are coming in right now, we've got a lot of regulars, but we still have a lot of out-of-towners. So we're trying to get that table to be a blend of the people we always see and some new faces as you well. You know, I don't know how you did it, but yours looks better than mine, and all we did was clip it. But... <laughs> She's a trained professional. I am not. A lot more to come today. Alex and Carrie can't drink it. Really want to. Can't do it this early, unfortunately. But this is great. Urban Heritage, Bourbon Heritage Month, easy for me to say, rolls on through 930 right here on WLKY. Don't go anywhere. I mean, Carrie, mm -hmm. they have hundreds and hundreds of bourbons and whiskeys at yeah. Watch Hill Proper. But in case that's not your thing, they have mocktails as well. Yes. And then wine, a list Oop. of that too. Yeah, nothing like a, a beautiful drink, right? That really goes with the whole Instagram moment. Oh yeah, that's what it's, it's all about. Instagrammable <laughs> moment, Sam. Thank you.